today's devotional can be found in 1 Nephi chapter 1, verse 14. And it came to pass that when my father had read and seen many great and marvelous things, he did explain many things unto the Lord, such as great and marvelous are thy works, O Lord God Almighty. Thy throne is high in the heavens, and thy power and goodness and mercy are over all the inhabitants of the earth. And because thou art merciful, thou wilt not suffer those who come unto thee, that they shall perish. All right. So this is Nephi talking about his father Lehi. And the knowledge that God gave unto Lehi because of Lehi's righteousness. And the same applies to us if we are righteous. We shall be given knowledge that will cause us to praise the Lord. Because the Lord's works are great and marvelous. None other can do these works. Only God has the power. God and Christ have the power. To carry out these works. And. It is only by their hand that others may be able to carry out. That which needs to be carried out. Because we're frail, imperfect mortals, and without the help of God, we can do nothing. And the thrones of Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ are high in the heavens. And their power, their goodness, their mercy are over all the inhabitants of the earth. The atonement covers everyone. The power of love covers everyone. The power of the priesthood is offered to all those who are worthy, and everybody is given the opportunity. All men are given the opportunity to become worthy for that priesthood. And the heavenly goodness is offered to everyone. The mercy especially, because everyone, because through the atonement, everyone has the opportunity to give up their sins their imperfections, turn their weaknesses over to God and Christ, that they might become better. Because we are meant to be great, infinite beings someday, but we've got a lot of work to do, and we have to be willing to allow Heavenly Father to refine us. We have endless potential. We're just not capable of reaching it on our own. And the Lord is merciful. Anyone who comes unto him, seeking redemption, seeking help, seeking refinement, will not perish in their sin. They will be refined and rejuvenated through the power of the atonement of Jesus Christ. It's a process refinement, but it's a very thorough process, and through the fire of the Holy Spirit, after baptism, sins are taken away and people can start anew. And God and Christ are truly great and marvelous because they are the only ones that can help us become better than we are. We just have to be willing to seek their help. Their works are truly marvelous. We just have to be willing to see them and realize that they can work on us too. Miracles are possible, we just have to believe. And with that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ, amen.